Hi, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to attempt to um, talk about this journal that I'm finishing up. Um, this is a sunflower journal that was inspired by um, my daughter, who, hopefully I'm in frame here, who saw this paper, and she absolutely loved it. It has this beautiful texture um, on the sunflowers and the little bees and she just thought it would make a lovely journal so I said let's make a sunflower journal. Um, not to mention it's the first year that she grew sunflowers in her garden so she was pretty proud that as they began to mature and we made bouquets so it all has um, interesting flow into our life I guess. Anyway um, I wanted to videotape this because I have a little story to tell. This um, digital kit um, is from Nevermore Creations 17. Um, I originally ordered it so that I could do this journal with my daughter on sunflowers. And then um, because I didn't have a copier that could do the color printing yet that I want to do in the future, um, I purchased the um, digital kit already printed and sent to me. Well, it got lost in the mail. And so in the end, um, it got delivered to a wrong address. We reported to the Postal Service, and we don't know what happened. It never really came back to me. But anyway, um, I let Nevermore Creations know and paid for another one. And she was so kind that she sent me free a new set I ordered another set because I thought I'm going to make more of, I'm going to use more of these um, floral images. And I've ordered more from her. She's the kindest, that was the kindest gesture. Um, definitely good for her business. I'll order from her and remember her always. Um, so anyway, this is the digital. Um, I saved these in folders. These are the digitals that came. They're quite colorful, quite beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Uh, I can do at least, I can do more journals just off of one printed kit. Um, there were two here, obviously, because she sent me a free one and I ordered a second one. So there's a little bit of color variation, which will make it fun because I think this has a little pink in it. And then there's other pages that have maybe more yellow in it like this, which is just, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And so um, these are the pages that I have not used. And I keep them all in a little folder. And so what I did do was this journal. And so I thought it would be fun to just uh, craft for me today so that um, I could recognize Nevermore Creations. I also um, would like to acknowledge Izzy B and Johanna. Um, I learned from them the very first journals I did, which I've, all, I've done about 20. So I'm not real experienced, but I've done, I've been watching a lot of videos. I learned about using the making a flexible spine by using the fabric for the spine. I've learned about the sari silk to tie the books together. Um, this book cover is a hard book cover. I made a cardboard spine to go between, which um, I believe is a two and a half inch spine, three signatures. Um, this is a paper. It was applied with Mod Podge to the hard book cover. Um, I used Tim Holtz corners, Tim Holtz um, plate, uh, name plate. Um, and these are some beads and pearls that, cute little rose flowers, it's so cute, that I had already in my stash. Um, I had a lot of product when I retired. Um, and so I'm still going through and seeing now that I've switched over to junk journaling and keepsake books, it gives me a lot more options. I can use a lot more product that I wasn't using before. So I'm just thrilled to death and I'm just having so much fun. I started creating as sort of a transitional thing for me. Um, 
I'd been met with a lot of challenges before I retired and then after I retired and and I needed something to help me heal through my grieving and et cetera. We've all been there. Um, and so this, after sewing, macrame, and a few other hobbies that I tried, I noticed Izzy B and Johanna, and I was so taken by the fun they had making these journals that I just, I really wanted to know more. So I've been on YouTube, I've been on SD, I opened an account. Um, my account is C Gypsy Joe, both on YouTube and SD. Um, I've uh, loaded up some items on my store and I need to photograph um, three more journals that need to go up. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to share. I'm hoping that my pricing gets right so people will enjoy these books. Um, I worked really hard to make sure that they are something that I would enjoy and hopefully someone else will enjoy um, and really be usable. So um, anyway, I'm just jacking away. Um, so this is where I'm at with the cover. Um, I've applied the canvas. I've drilled my holes for the um, signatures. I placed this cute little, this is a Tim Holtz um, little uh, brad that creates a toggle. And this little sunflower was in my stash and my embellishments. My daughter found it and we placed it there. Um, I lined it. Of course, sorry, silk ties. I lined it with this. Um, I love this green paper. It just seemed to work well. Um, this is a um, library card. A couple of embellishments. I haven't really started a embellish yet. I thought it would be fun to do it um, after I get the signature sewn in. So I'm going to set the cover aside so I can work on the signatures. Um, so here we go. This is, I have three signatures. Um, this is the first signature. And what I did was, what I'm going to do um, is I began to make sure that before I sew in these signatures that I have everything in here that I'm, sort of hoping I would um, in position. I don't want to start putting needles through if it's not going to be, you know, what I wanted. So I, I procrastinate kind of. I worry about it and I work on it, work on it. Anyway, I'm, I'm going for it. Um, so I made a little front pocket out of this. I am um, and then a little tag can go in there. I've applied it, um, made tags for each of the, the three signatures. Um, so I'm looking to make, I sewed in this yellow, beautiful yellow lace. Um, I've used dictionary pages. I use this beautiful, um, four leaf clover stamp. I think it's just adorable. And because I got a brand new sewing machine right next to me, a brother project one way limited edition for Christmas. Um, I, yesterday, the day after Christmas, I was sewing on it. So I sewed this cute little flowers in the garden, um, photo there. Um, this is a page from a dictionary, children's dictionary. I sewed this little tuck here in. I should get something so I can show you what's tuck, what it means by that. Something can be held there like that um, thus far. I do have these owl books. Um, Envelopes. I have trimmed the top edge off. Trimmed the top edge off. Sorry, I keep leaving the picture. And then what I'm going to do is secure this down because I would like to use it as um, a place where you could put extra whatever. So I'm going to go ahead with this one and tape this in. I think I want to use... Um, the double sided tape though because I really think that it will that would be best for that so let me go get that and I'll whoops get right back to you 
so here we go then. I discovered this double-sided tape from I'm ordering it from scrapbook.com. And again, I apologize. They seem to be scattered here today. <laughs> Every day, scissors. Scissors. Okay. I even had to put a pillow in my chair. I felt like I was sinking down. So so that I could actually make this a tuck spot as well. I have to decide then the top or the side. I kind of like leaving it open to the top because um, the side ones don't always want to stay you have to, in place depending on what it is. I'm still learning. I um, we live at the Oregon coast. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day today, but very, very cold. Uh, it's really quiet since I retired. It's been um, so much time there is free compared to what I used to do in social services. Um, so I was still getting used to what in the world what to do, what to do. So we're going to put this oh, pocket right here. And then I believe something could be also slipped in there. And something in here. I punched a little hole so it could be slid in. So that's something that we can work on as well later. Okay, so here is some more of the kit paper, stamp, music paper, um, stamping, writing paper. I did this um, yesterday. I sewed it in um, and I inked, tore it, inked the edges. I have this lovely image, which I would like to, which I will probably, I'd like to back, I think, and stitch it. Um, I think I'm going to leave that out so I can do that. Um, and I have more writing pages. This is the center. More writing pages. I sewed in this corner of the pocket. Sunny days, more writing pages, another space for creating, music paper, more space for creating. Yeah, there is this little envelope. I found this set of envelopes. I really like to have this in here. Still debating on how I'm going to attach that and what I'm going to do with it. So, this is the other side of the dictionary page. Other side of um, these are nice cardstock for sketching, watercoloring. Um, some are a little harder than others. The dictionary page. I glued this little ribbon here, and then I have um, sewn this piece of ribbon on here and what I wanted to do was sew this right on one of these pages. So I'm still debating would that be I'm just thinking this would be really cute on here but let me look Actually, I think that looks really good right there. And then this will be a little tuck spot. So I am going to sew this. And then I will um, let me go ahead and use my zigzag stitch and I will do that and I think I can just do that on camera can't I 
So this is the part that's still new to me. I got my little garbage bag here. I'm all open for any suggestions people have because you guys have been doing this a lot longer than I have. So basically when I go to stitch, I like to stitch it backwards just a little ways. And there we go. Um, I watched Mrs. Coggs and she suggests um, leaving your needle in the left hand position when you turn a corner, which I thought was a great, great um, suggestion. It helps helpful. And then it looks nice and even when you Of course, crafting is one of those things that you can have lots of forgiveness. I absolutely love this um, crafting group. There's a lot of junk journals out there, keepsake journal people. Um, they're all very supportive of one another. Um, what I think is so, that is what is so amazing. I, I only see positive um, people nurturing each other, encouraging each other, telling, uh, you know, bragging on each other. It's just so cool. And I'm just grateful that I, that people have received me well there. I just think that that's just really special to feel like you belong to a group that you can approach every day and there's no drama. Um, you guys should be very proud, each and every one of you, of how you've maintained that um, sort of atmosphere. I think it's just remarkable. So anyway, I set up with the help from my husband, my SD shop. Um, I have a beautiful craft room and I also have a beautiful studio in the yard, but when the weather came, I don't have heat out there. So I spent the summer out there enjoying it, but, um, there we go, but I had to bring it all in. So I still have a lot of things to sort that came in from outside for the winter. There we go. I think that's really lovely. And then I have this stationary that I think I am going to just slide a little paper right in there so a person could put here I stitch the more lace so I think for that one before I sew in we're pretty okay I just want to be sure you know you just want to be sure everything's lined up um, I'm trying to decide if this is going to be this is going to be adhered to that one, so it'll be there. I can always trim that down later. Um, so just trying to be sure everything's centered before I stitch in. Um, I don't think I want anything else in there before I stitch in. Um, I am curious about this sunflower, but you know, I, if anything, I will attach it there. I am not going to um, probably stitch it in. That's what I'm referring to. Could be fun to stitch it in. Do I want to do that? I've never done it before, so I guess now any. We'll see if it'll even honor me with becoming dismantled here. I can glue it back together afterwards. We'll see what I think. Sacrifice an envelope for this. <laughs> 
see, we're all learning, and <laughs> including me. Um, so that's kind of a cute idea. Then, if it's sewn in, it's about the same color. It could have something in it like that. I actually really like that idea. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. So I think I think I'm ready to sew in. So I'm going to have to watch this and be sure this does this one doesn't slide around. But this is how we can do this. I'm going to line them all up. Now, do I want to sew any more lace? I'm going to take this out too. Do I think I'm doing okay there? Do I do I think I need to add anything else? I'm just not wanting to to do that. So, okay. So, I have This is a a nice uh Sewing jute is there. Um, so do I, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and correct these as well. And then we'll sew, we'll start sewing. So here again, I'm going to slide this one together. And this, okay. Music. I did sew this. Is that cute? Has a spot to put or to embellish. This is a little big, but so I sewed both those in. I'm having so much fun with the sewing machine. Again, dictionary pages. This is really cute. I think I'm supposed to sew this in. I was going to sew this in this corner. Or would that look cute on the very back? Is this going to look cute right here? I think I will go ahead and sew this in here. So, there we go. So, here we go again. And as I said, I'm a real amateur, so no judgment here. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It just sews so smooth. I can't believe it. Now I'm going to attempt to turn a circle. little bit tight here. Let's try to say something here. Got a snagged needle. Well, that's interesting. I don't generally have that problem. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let me see what I did to my machine. It's not the top string. I think it has to do with the bobbin gut up here somehow so we'll fix that it has been functioning extremely perfect I have a big machine downstairs this one is nice and lightweight um, so it makes it a lot easier for people who like me have either have to work with their tendonitis and 
arthritis wrists or whatever. So there, look at that, so cute. See, I can add something there. So here's another one of these guys. So I am going to add this guy to my double-sided tape. I'm so awkward. I'm sure everybody's saying, what in the world? Um, so, um, Nevermore Creations, I've, I've, since then, I've gone quite a few times and looked and learned about digital, um, prints. Um, we are uh, getting a copier. My husband's helping set us up so that I can print, download digital folders and print. I'm very excited about that. That's just the coolest option. I mean, it takes a long time to find the, the right, um, the right images if, if that's what you need so that you can um, know that it's okay to use them. I know I had more double-sided tape, so here we go. I have an eighth inch and I have this quarter inch, which I use quite a bit. Um, I find it to be strong. Um, both brands work well. I use the scrapbook brand. Psst, not a problem there. Both work well. Double-sided tapes. I find them convenient, especially if you're like going to go and scrap somewhere like at retreats or whatever and get a lot of that together. I do have a one of those glue guns that puts your tape row down, you know, but it actually kept getting jammed, and so my husband did. Oh, look at that. I did it upside down. Okay, so that's okay. It just won't be a tuck spot. It will be a storage spot. That's what's fun about this. You can turn it into whatever you want. So then again, dictionary pages, more... Oh, I have a cute little sunflower. I've got a bunch of those I'm going to embellish with later. Writing paper center, which I want to look at. Here we go with our little page here. Let's sew this on. I wonder if I should do the envelope for that. I'm trying to decide if I should do the envelope for... Um, all three signatures or just try it out for one and see how that goes. I honestly do think that let's see maybe maybe I should pay more attention to where my thread is when I start out. I won't have any tangle up problem. So I'm learning again to sew. I've been working for 50 years and you know all of a sudden now I have a lot of free time to go back to do what I did when I was younger which was sewing, designing, art. Um, I started out sewing on a travel machine. Oh, they sewed my wedding gown on, actually. Which sounds really funny, but the gown is quite beautiful, and I sewed all my bridesmaid dresses on that machine, as well as my sister's formals. Her formals were more for because she was married to someone who did a lot of, you know, uh, fancy dinners and such with people in the golf course. And so she needed things that were dressy, cocktail dresses. That's what I guess you would call them. Of course, you have to remember this is back in the 60s. could spend hours and hours and hours looking up patterns and even learn how to make my own patterns, looking at fabrics. Seems like that's something I could dream about constantly at that age. Um, I'm really grateful. My mother taught me a lot. She started me out with mocking. Made my own little rest and I think it was the sixth grade. Um, before that it was things like aprons and such but you know that's how you learn. That's how you start out. That's how you learn. 
So I feel really fortunate that I was given, my mother was also a uh, very Martha Stewart kind of woman. She can, she sewed, she refurbished, she, she could milk a cow, she could tin the chicken, she could do whatever, she could do it all. She was amazing. Anyway, lucky us, we got to grow up in that world um, and learn about nature and animals and respecting the earth and just a lot of different things that I think are of enormous value to us all. Anyway, there's a little cute note there. So what shall I do? Again, more writing paper. Da, 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 this one. What shall I do here? Isn't this pretty? The colors that she used between the orange and pink, I just, it melts my heart. This is where I had placed this guy. We could, I don't know, do we want to, would that be kind of fun to put it there and then play with the music a bit and then maybe on the the last one do it, sew it in. I think it kind of looks cool next to the music and then having a photo stamp on it and putting, so you could put photos in it or something like that. Seeds. Something like that. Seeds. So, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to set that one aside because, honestly, I think I'm stumped on it. So, let's go ahead and... And this one has a tab. And let's just make sure they're all straight so we can sew them in. I think that's probably my best bet. Oh, look at there's a cute little... Bill agreed there, some brighter colors. Yeah, I'm very happy with this and the center. So I'm thinking good shape. Okay, and the last one. Let's wait on these. I have a feeling I need to make sure these are straight. This is not straight. Music, stamping, not quite straight. Ooh, look at that. Do I want that next to that? Mm. It is very pretty, but so much pink in that one. Hmm. Let's see. Let me think about this a little bit. There. We have this, so let's go ahead and put him down because we know this is for storage. Um, let me see if this time I can remember to put the pocket on the right section. <laughs> um, gosh, we had a very quiet holiday. Most of my family came at um, Thanksgiving. My granddaughter has a brand new baby, and so... They have a lot of family to visit, and they came at Thanksgiving and spent three days. It was so wonderful because Adeline is just tiny. She, um, they grow and change so quickly. I saw her in September, and here it was November, and she was just, she's just beautiful. What a beautiful couple they are. They have lots of big dreams, and they have their beautiful little family now with their little baby, and I just think they're just adorable. Um, and they're doing a great job, both of them. I just love seeing their photos of how they're doing and how happy she looks to be a mommy and she's just so protective and <sighs> warms my heart. Um, it's not always that way and it's sure wonderful when you see that little Adeline's gonna have a good life with her mommy and daddy. I think that's just gonna be beautiful. Beautiful life they will have. Oops, you know, that looks just a little bit crooked, but honestly, I'm not going to move it. See, I'm not, I'm not perfect by any means. I mean, it's not far off, but okay, here we go. More writing paper. 
I'm thinking this person might be a literate person and like I am and like to put things. It could be used as a garden um, journal, documenting gardening, saving seeds, or just a journal in general. Recalling memories that you like to document, things you like to put down. That's where I did have it, but I didn't care for it there. So, so let's see, what shall I do with my cute little piece of lace here? It does have some pink in it. I like the tuck to be on this side. That has a stamp. This is where I thought my thoughts were. Okay, that's one spot. Let's think again. It's gonna look like next to something else. Oh, let's put it in the middle here where the writing is, because then it gives us some some focus on that beautiful. Let's do that. Writing section. I call myself a writer. Writing. Um, don't know what that means yet. Like I said, I just retired. My focus in college, of course, a lot of it was literacy. Um, I really enjoy that area. Um... I had some interest in writing. I've taken several classes. But it seems like once I began to organize house and just get myself set up for being retired, <laughs> everything else takes precedence. I don't know. It just seems like it takes so long now to get anything done to get to where it is I want to be in the moment. Last this this year, 2018, I took several art classes, um, learned to work with copper, that was really fun, made some leany things. Um, I also, we also took a class on growing your own mushrooms on logs too, which was really fun, um, out of the estuary. Then, um, at the same time, we were building our greenhouse and trying to get that completed. But we had a financial disruption where we had to add some more fencing. Um, and so we didn't quite finish the greenhouse, but we did get the fence raised up. That's completed now, and I'm really glad of that. We planted a lot of trees in the back fence, which is also very constructive and good for us. Um, we really want our yard to look very British garden, very grown up, um, very natural. I like to leave everything alone in the winter so that creatures have access to the yard. We don't grow a lawn, so to speak. Um, we like mosses and natural grasses. I guess you'd call them, <laughs> they, some people would call them weeds, but hey, yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's so pretty. See, I really like that. It's kind of nice, and maybe I'll add some more of that kind of stuff. I'm so excited to sew on my sewing machine. It's just bizarre, isn't it? So, that I would get such a kick at my age to have a new sewing machine. So. I think we are kind of there to sew. I'm not sure about the envelopes. I'm still struggling with that. If anybody has a suggestion, if you happen to run across my station here, let me know what you think. I, I have um, of course I've seen people that I can't really sew it in there like that. Um, I'm going to think about this differently, so I'm just not happy with how, how that's going. So maybe I won't add it. Anyway, here we go. So, where we're at. 
Oh, 29 minutes. Here's my cover. And here's my sewing needle. So, um, and this book very much is follow the fall theme. It's about sunflowers, but it's very fall themed because the gold goes so well with all the fall colors, and that's when you harvest sunflowers, etc. So, um, you know, I think that's that's significant as well um, to mention. I did have some of this. I get distracted so easily. This beautiful daffodil tape, but you know, I can't quite find the. I might. I might make a belly band for it in here somewhere. Maybe put lace, a wider piece of lace, and then sew that down. So I was thinking of that, but um, I was a little nervous about getting that done. Um, this is going to have a pocket that has lace. See, it's just deciding have I embellished enough, if I'm going too far. Um, what do people like? What would you like to see? You know, if I see something, you know, like here, like you could have lace. Now, you can see the stamp through there, so it might be, that might be a decider of, to not put something there. I think I'll put a corner pocket there. Um, let me see, that's by the writing, so that's lovely. So, I'm just, I'm not sure that this is needed either. So, as I said, I am learning. <laughs> so, here we go. So, we're going to be happy with that, and we're going to just not fuss with it too much. Let me get my clips and my, my book to put my holes in the signature, and I will... Get right back. Go. Okay. So what I've done is um, I went to get my all so that I could um, punch the holes. And um, I paper clipped the first signature here. Had to really and make sure it's all lined up so that once I do... I'm not going to be disappointed with the position. And so I put this old magazine under here, under it, and I try to make a pretty good size hole. Um, paper, remarkably, just seal right back up, some of it. Um, so I had to kind of slowly just get used to how much. Um, the first books I made, I was having to use pliers and all kinds of things, and I had a injured hand, and so... It's really difficult to um, to get things through. So I'm going to reach over here and get the pliers because I still do use them, but not near what I used to. Anyway, I couldn't hardly get the the needle through. Over time, I have gone online, and what you get is the pre what I used to call the because I'm a, I was a teacher the preschool needles. They're they're blunt. They're blunt on the end. They're for like embroidery, um, tapestry needles. You have to really look. The hole is really big. And that is the plus because I was having a hard time even threading those needles I had. So all those went back to the sewing box and I got two packs of these. Actually, I got them at Walmart. They have a huge hole. I can put this three strand waxed leather twine whatever through and it's not a problem I can do it myself I was actually having to ask for help so <laughs> I don't like asking for help too much but um that's how difficult it was and I wanted to get it done so um now I've solved it I have the big needles that are um not gonna they're not gonna hurt me to start with they don't have a sharp end and um they are easy to thread um, so here we go hopefully I'm doing this so that I'm gonna put the book back over here to move these things out of my way um, and then here I've already drilled the holes my husband does that with his Dremel tool 
I sometimes have to wiggle the thread through to start. Like I said, it's amazing how paper will heal itself. I think with this one, I got way too much string here. So I'm just going to pull it down, go through this hole. I probably could have taken my sorry silk off too to do this, but it really is, has become quite much more simple for me um, now. So I'm not, I don't feel as threatened. Um, goes right through. He's, he's sort of tested different Dremel tool, uh, sizes so that he could know how much, um, here, let me tie that up. So that he, he would know how big the hole needs to be consistently. He's like such a perfectionist. So I trust him completely. He's just really helpful my renaissance man so anyway then you come back through this hole some of my books i have um pattern paper pattern fabric on the spine so that when you're looking through the signatures um you see now see that one's really tight so what i do is this is about as real TV as there is. It's like my pliers. <laughs> and I tug on that stuff and get it out of there. So, there we go. Very lovely. Then, I'm wondering why I look so adjusted there in this book. It's as though I'm like a quarter inch off or something. Something doesn't feel right. So I'm going to have to go back and reconfigure this because I've done something wrong. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I had to go away because I made such a boo-boo that I had to correct it. So it's just a lesson to myself and everyone. Um, double check. Double check with your book. Double check with your... I thought I had, says top, the right template. But the reality is this particular template is not the top. It was for a different book. So I made a mistake because I had actually shortened this spine stitching so that I could accommodate this, this brad. So, sorry, there's something on my thing. And so I don't know what that is, but hopefully I'm still taping. Um, I'm still learning. So hopefully my husband will be able to edit this so that it has some integrity. So anyway, I've repaired it now. It's all adjusted to where it needs to be. Nice and tidy in here, as you can see, all stitched and on the back. So I've learned, I've learned. Um, so now I'm going to go, I've clipped the second signature. I'm going to show you how I typically do it. This time I will make sure I use the proper um, guide here so that I am showing you the right way and I'm learning right along with everybody else. So um, I'm just sort of double checking myself here so that as I go ahead and line this up and begin to mark it that I'm thinking that I'm probably okay. Um, and that's a really awkward position for it to be in. But that is pretty well where we're lined up. You know, it just, you just got to slow down. And I still kind of tend to be like a working woman. I'm just like rushing around like I'm supposed to have some kind of deadline or something. And I'm going in my head, I'm going thinking, um, you don't really need to, but I literally, I think have a, have a voice that talks to me all the time about um, slow down, slow down, take a nap, take a rest, um, whatever that is. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, so I think I think I've got it this time. 
disc. So then I can show you here. I've marked it with the template. Um, here's my this thing. Do you call it an all? I'm not sure. Anyway, oh, I love this book. Isn't that? It's going to be so pretty. So back to the magazine. And I made sure my little panels are all lined up. I'm going to double check this one because it kind of does disappear on the page there. But I think it's just fine. And so going in, having something underneath you so that you can push down and, you know, make the hole. I use this Smithsonian Magazine. Um one I don't particularly think I'm going to be using any cutouts or anything in. And so prep work is 90% of the situation. And then after that, it's like after we got the Dremble tool to, to make the holes and the proper needles, ah, this is heaven. I probably just wasn't writing, watching the right YouTube. And so if I had been knowledgeable who's out there and knows what they're doing, um, I, I could have watched that and learned. But honestly, I think with this sort of thing, you're learning as you go because everybody hears something different in every training, every YouTube. So I just assume that this is probably the same thing. You got to learn as you go. You know, some of it you learn in class and some of it, some of it you learn by doing. So I have lined that up. Looks good. It's going to go through here. Um, sometimes I still have to use the pliers because it is there is a lot of material there for it to go through. I don't want it so, um, how do you say, <sighs> I don't want it so loose that um you know that it's too loose i don't i don't want that um but i also want it just you know snug enough so that the book really stays together and and they do i've i've had really been felt successful i'm not sure what's happening here but i'm not lined up just right for whatever reason so sometimes it takes a little probing. Maybe, maybe I didn't go all the way through just so. I'm not sure to the last panel. I certainly thought I had, but hey, this is how it goes. <laughs> School time. Um, so where did I need to go? There you are. Let's try it again. Um, oh, I see. I'm just seem to be missing that couple of pages there for whatever reason. They're shifting. <laughs> so I'm not, there it goes. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it's terrible when you're trying to craft with me and then show people something and then it turns out that you don't know what you're doing. Um, so I don't always have the answer. So there we go. Much better. <laughs> I've survived that first stitch. Isn't that hilarious? So, you know, these clips are so amazing too because it keeps everything in, in order. And boy, you can get a lot of like right now, actually, I need to probably put a clip around this just so that I can work with it because it is kind of a interesting struggle to deal with all the different um, all the different layers so again this collection was from nevermore creations seven I believe it is let me see what I write down she Nevermore Creation 17. Um, she does have a lot of beautiful digitals. And like I said, she was very generous and 
kind to me. It really wasn't her. I just shared with her because I need to order another one. And then she just so kindly helped me out. So I really appreciate her. And for some reason, I'm just struggling with these. Um, you know, it's just another, it's another world to have people like that who just, um, the working world can be very different in the management world. Um, and then to be able to work with people who are just like, oh, let me help you out there. It's just kind of almost shocking. It, it's At first, it's kind of like an awe, like, oh, really? Who is this person that's so generous with herself? Um, doesn't happen. And, you know, it, it. it's beautiful to see. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely beautiful to see. That ring keeps getting caught in my, in my mess, aren't I? Am I still in picture? Have I been out of picture? I'm sure Michael will look at it and go, oh gosh, lady. <laughs> you need more practice. And that's fine. I, I get it. So before I tighten that down, I'm going to take these clips off. As you see, um, these clips off like that. I don't know how many minutes this tape is because I've had to stop and go so much. So that will give me plenty of tape, though, to to edit right so no problem so then I tie it and hopefully I'm showing enough of what I'm doing so people kind of get um, this one I'm, I, I've lately I've just been tying them in a bow and kind of um, I'm wanting to allow the purchaser to have more freedom to do I noticed that a lot of people love to have the, the dangles just down. Some of them like to hang little beads or whatever. Um, so at first, I just leave it like that. I don't actually even put a full knot. And I just tie it down like that until I decide, um, you know, if that's, if that's what I really want to do with it. Um, wow. See, even, and I just needed to correct that. So that's a really good thing. Cause I noticed this was just slightly crooked. And then I noticed one of the little, so there you go. Another lesson learned, right gang? I just made <laughs> another mistake for us all. Um, yeah, that's good to catch that. So anyway, there we go. So I tell you, that's pretty remarkable to have that happen just right there to show you. So I just tie it in a bow. And and those are a couple of reasons why you might, especially when you're still in the process of, of blinging it out, you kind of want a little more control. So now I have two signatures in. This one is so now it's even. Okay. There we go. Two in. And now here's the third one. So I'm not sure how many minutes I am into this. Um, let me see. Maybe I will sew this in after a bit. Maybe I will sew this in and then come back to you or unless people would like to watch. Maybe maybe it's great to watch me struggle. I you know, I I just feel like I make so many mistakes. I um and the only way I'm gonna learn is if I just keep trying it. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's like, you know, excuse me, I'm kind of an amateur. But maybe we could struggle together. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I do, but it takes practice, I tell you. Different products react differently, and some days it works, and some days it just doesn't. So, you know, it's all good. Anyway, it's all creative. It's all lovely. So, what I'm going to do here is mark this and 
we go again. Pen. The marker with the pen. Now, like I said, I have several tin plates and I mistakenly grabbed the wrong one. So double check, double check. It's kind of like in woodworking, you know, measure twice, cut once. Um, I think we've always done that. We've all done that in sewing as well. You know, it's like, oh, are you kidding me? And then you wished you had slowed down a little bit. So if I think it's off at all, I can adjust it before I go, which I think mine is slightly, needs to be slightly below those marks, it appears. <laughs> Somebody's probably saying, use a tape measure. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm right at the end. So let me be double sure because that looked a little bit different and it is. It needs to be lower. See that eyeballing it is kind of important. Even with the oh yeah. Even with that. That eyeballing it is important. Slightly, slightly different. Just slightly. Now, <laughs> it's really important. That was a terrible laugh. Um, let's get nice and full to make sure this stuff doesn't shift around too much between the time that you decide to, to put the hole in. You know, don't let it shift around. Don't move it again is all I'm saying. So I've done that and then realized that I moved the middle page and that meant I shifted the whole signatures. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's all fixable. Um, I'm going to get my sketch pencils out in erasers because I do think I, I'm wanting to be sure that I, things are erasable. That's all. Markings or whatever. Sometimes I'll grab a pen and then wish that I had not. So, um, and it could just be that's way overkill, that's way overkill type, um, world. You know, I don't need to do that. So, but this is so much fun. I mean, isn't this fun? Isn't this book just the cutest thing ever? And my daughter is still lives at home. I have two grown sons gone. Um, they live far away. And my daughter lives still is at home. She um, is confined to a wheelchair, but she does work. Um, she's an amazing young lady. Uh, needs some help now and then. And so we've made the decision that she's staying home as long as she needs to. Absolutely love having her around anyway. I don't know. It's just like, you know, what do you do when your kids leave home and then and there's retirement, and there's all these other parts of your journey and they all seem to kind of have their moment of pain. Um, you don't own your kids and, I love that quote. And so it's important that they grow up and they're brave to go out and about in the world and you're, you're glad for them, but you certainly do miss them when they're not around a lot. I do anyway. But I'm beginning to realize that I lost my mother when I retired two years ago and, and a sister and brothers. I lost a lot of people the last few years and that was partly why I went back to art was because I was grieving so heavily and I just, it was a huge challenge for me. So, um, for some people that's, you know, I guess they, they, they can get through it. And, and I, I really struggled with all the loss and, and the way the, 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 
the emotions that the loss brought up, you know. So anyway, long story short, here I am. Look what I got to find because I was out there looking. And so once I realized that I really loved this idea because I actually had injured my hands and I was journaling to, you know, get through stuff. And that to me is, is a really important element in my life. Well, I got to where if I tried to even write for a few minutes, I, my hands would cramp up so bad. Um, because I was struggling with health issues as well. <laughs> anyway, um, the blessing from it was that I really, I saw some, I typed in art journaling because I thought, you know, if I am not able to write, perhaps I'll be able to do it in another way like the old days um, when I used to love doing art so um, just like sewing or, or any of those crafts that give you um, you know that's what I was looking for I was looking for that outlet to be distracted to think about something other than all the sadness and all the feelings that go with loss, whether it's a good loss or a bad loss. Um, it's just, you know, there's no words for that. That's all I got to say. There's sometimes there's so much of it. You don't have time to get through the first one before the next one has arrived. And that's my age. I'm, I'm at an age where I've lost many friends and all my family siblings except for one sister who lives back east um and so my parents are gone and yeah so you know you just want to escape the all those feelings of emptiness those giant voids and so art can help you helped me that's what i should say to be able to express and to to sort of find myself, so to speak, when I retired. Who was I before I decided to retire, go to work and raise a family and all those things that took up all my time? What was it that I was looking for that was soothing and nurturing to me? What, what would I, you know, what was I doing? Or maybe it's going to be something brand new. So... On that journey, I um, look at that nice and neat. That's good, huh? Look at that. Bad, bad. Love that. So I have to work with that a little bit, but look how nice and full. And you know what? I haven't even blinged it yet. But I need to put in some. Oh, I guess I better tie it the proper way. Huh? Um, I need to put in bling on the lace. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I love doing that part of it, creating those blings. This is beautiful. Sorry, Silk, I just got some of that, and it happened to be the right colors for this garden journal. Look at that. It's just lovely. Well, it isn't, it's just now emerging. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So there we go. So next video, uh, I'm hoping I'll be blinging it out and getting it ready to post for sale. So thank you for watching and, and um, learning right along with me because I definitely definitely have um, much to learn. So um, also look forward to seeing the next um, 
ones I think I'll videotape is baby two baby girl books I'm making. Um, so I will decide if that's the next one I'm going to be taping. Um, otherwise, I have a couple of flip throughs. And so I'll be back. And um, like I said, see Gypsy Joe on both YouTube and SD. And just please um, check me out and see what you think. Give me some feedback. I'm enjoying it so much. I am just having so much fun making these. Lovely energy is going into every single one of these journals. And so um, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.